Here I am, Manabu Suzuki as a mountain pass guide. Manabi. A commemoration event for Options 500th issue. Option Super Fast. Commemoration for Option Magazine number 500. The event at Kyoto Arashiyama Takao Parkway is being held. We would like to present the public road super lap at Arashiyama Takao Parkway. We close the road early in the day. Let tuned car time attack begin. Last time we uploaded to YouTube a total of nine cars such as the new Swift RX-7 and RX-8. Last time we presented new Swift and rotaries. We have started. See, you might get inspired by this and maybe want to try it. But please don't do this on public road. Ultimate time attack by pro drivers using two lanes. We have closed the road and did it with pro drivers. You'll get arrested for driving like this. Okay, let's see. This time we'll show you machines from high power GTRs to lightweight sports cars. Fujitsu will present the Tuge time attack. From heavy duty to lightweight, a total of eight machines have arrived. First, we'll see two GTRs. This time we have GTR 35 versus GTR 32. Both are super powerful monster machines. What will happen when they hit the pass? An original drag specification active GTR. Let's see it. HKS TF GTR Kamikaze. Driver Eiji Yamada. This 35 GTR is HKS Technical Factory's monster machine. The driver is Tazen Yamada. Here we go, GTR. The driver seems tense in his arms. This time, well, won't it fly away? Will it be okay? Rising speed. <laughs> it's speeding! Tarzan Yamada must be nervous. This is over 4.1 liter GT, 1000 horsepower. Over 1000 horsepower. The fastest at circuit. So fast! Is this real? Wow, it's coming! Unbelievably intense turn! Technical factory GTR, this is great! Hitting the pass! Driver Akira Ida. Driver Akira. This seems great. Something wicked will happen, I know. Oh, next is. Wow, so busy. This one is fast too. Actual horsepower is 813. This time the power is a little less, but this one seems bad too. GTR at the pass is a dangerous challenge. The tire seems to be Hoosier 295 size. Akira Ida is driving without practice. And air suspension? In this kind of situation? How can he run like this? Isn't he nervous? And then... One mistake will make the body fly away. The machine is great too, but also pro drivers are greater than I thought. Maybe they're just crazy. How can they drive such a narrow bumpy pass with this high power GTR? Simply unbelievable. He isn't even used to this. This is his first ride. How is the record? GTR summarization. GTR match was crazy. GTRs were amazing at the pass. I've heard that Mr. Kikuchi from Technical Factory got seriously terrified. HKS Technical Factory represented Mr. Kikuchi. Unbelievable VR sound echoing around the pass. He got scared when he heard Yamada accelerating seriously. Oh, I'm sure he was relieved after finishing his ride safely. Tarzan Yamada tried his best. He made the best record. The only changes since last year is the tires which are changed to A052 from A08B. 
it came back five seconds earlier than last year. 58.81 seconds, which is more than four seconds faster than the second best. This is the fastest record for this parkway pass. It's amazing. And then this active R32. This one was amazing too. 800 PS with air suspension had me worried a bit. However, this can run even at the circuit. Recent air suspensions can make it from circuit to pass. Air suspension made by T-Demand. Akira is great, but also this machine too. We saw with our own eyes how great GTRs are. GTRs are the fastest even on the mountain pass. Now we have four lightweight FRs, an antique S30 and S2000 which seems good on the pass, and 86 and a Roadstar. Among those various cars, what kind of record will we see? Let's get started. Driver, Akira Ida. First, Star Road 30Z. It's so fast for its age. You can tell this is an antique car from an inside cam. Akira Ida is driving. Here he comes. He has grown up in this circuit. And the engine is L-type 2.8 liter engine that has been changed to 3.2 liters. It has 380 horsepower. Well, in the past, maybe 40 years ago, 30 were actually running these passes. The record is different from those times. So fast, really. Well, Akira Ida with F30Z. With this extremely powerful machine, now at the Sector 2 upslope. This time, tires are actually out of an A050. And these are brand new. This star road must be serious with brand new semi-slick tires. So ready for this pass. With this record, I can't tell this is an antique car. Driver, Hiroyuki Iri. Next machine is S2000 from Garage Ito. The driver is Hiroyuki Iri. This combo usually brings 3-4, but this time it is for the pass. So they bought S2000. Can't wait for the result. 2.2 liter. Supercharger, 350 horsepower. Iri is attacking. Oops, it's dangerous. He's not really using the whole road. Oh wait, look closer. The road is wet, it's dangerous. Let's start again. Some parts of the road are still not completely dry. That's a very pass-like situation. S2000 from Garage Ito. I can't tell this can make a great record at the circuit. How about the pass? Can he control S2000 and hit a good record? The tires are Eagle RS Sport. The tires are for street specification. How is the record? Driver, Kimiya Sato. Next, we have Review Roadstar. New ND Roadstar and Kimiya Sato is the driver. A young driver. Yeah, how fast can he run at this pass? He worked his way up as a straight racing driver. He's now facing a winding pass. Is he getting scared? Or has he been careful? Sato is driving this review roadster. Supercharger spec 200 horsepower. How fast can he drive? He's been pretty careful. And now the second sector. This Review Roadstar Supercharger has 200 horsepower. The tires are Dunlop Z2 Star Spec. 
with 215. So, obviously, this is street spec. I could imagine this. Well, normally you don't set new sets of semi-slick tires with these kinds of cars, these kinds of young stars. I said young star, but he is married and has a kid. Well, it's not important now, I guess. Well, 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 he is attacking. Today's run at the pass must be different from the user circuit. How's the record? Driver, Kimiya Sato. The following machine is Duke 86. It's 86, but he's not shifting it. Oh, it's automatic. With supercharger 280 horsepower. Kimiya Sato is also driving this one. Is he not attacking but just driving? After seeing GTR, he seems too careful. It's much different from the rough driving of Tarzan Yamada. He's been careful and very smooth. He brought this 86 neatly to the second sector. Finally, the second upslope. Not so dynamic because it's street spec, but it looks dynamic enough when I watch it from a distance. This automatic car is running through at an amazing speed. Can you tell this is an automatic? Great run! Automatic 86 supercharger with Kimiya Sato as a driver. How's the result? Oops, it was pretty scary. Lightweight summarization. Okay, now you have seen four lightweight FRs. As for the record, Garage S2000 was good in total. This was quite fast. And the next best running close behind is the antique car S30Z. Sixty four point nine seconds is very fast. Unbelievable record for an antique car. Good job. We can say lightweights run fast at the mountain pass. And the young star Kimiya Sato. Good young GT driver Kimiya Sato. He was doing his best. In this film, it doesn't seem bold nor fast, but that's a big mistake. The other four drivers are too crazy. It's crazy to step fully on the accelerator of 1000 horsepower level machine at the mountain pass. You might be able to ride, but stepping fully on the accelerator is another story. The car is Sato Road. The car is Sato Road. This is good enough. He brought out the best of the car. And the record was good enough. These were the four lightweight. Are you ready now? If you like Subaru, you must be thinking about VAB. Two WRX STIs did a match. Here we go! Driver Q Wada. First VAB from Kansai Service, the driver is Q Wada. Looking from inside, it is not so different from a user sedan. It's so fast. As for image, it's a fast Termac WRX. I could say. It looks good, it is suited to the pass. GT3 RS changed turbine 375 horsepower, one of 4 WD. What record will Q Wada get? And now he's at the second sector upslope. This car looks great at the pass. It makes me want to get closer and look at it. Really. It has images of circuit or rally, but... The tires are making a sound, Kuwada. 
He is attacking and attacking Advan A052. How's the result going to be? Driver Masahiro Sasaki. The next car is Marche. The driver is Masahiro Sasaki. This Marche has 400 horsepower, HKS 2.2 liter engine, and the turbo has the same as Kansai service. It's with GT3 RS turbine. It has started to look like a rally. Of course, because it got Termic tires for a rally. Great Marche is made for rally spec with public road tuning. Tuned into a very fast Dever RX. What record did Masahiro Sasaki get? Now the downslope sector starts here. This talked about with WRX, it doesn't look bouncy from the outside. He got a good move. He needs to attack it as close as he can get it. It's kind of hard to just start it and put it at max. It's actually difficult, but those kinds of things are set perfect for the public roads. I can tell. The Marshall record is WRX STR summarization. So we checked VAB WRX STI. Those two machines, I think Kansai service was a little bit faster. It looked great running through the mountain pass. The reason the record weren't so good was because those two cars were set for the street. They looked kind of heavy at the pass. They didn't make their rates for circuit lights or anything, so the record weren't so great. But anyway, they looked easy to drive and look fun. The best thing is that WRX looks great at the pass. So we have seen the pass time attack after all those first GTRs. How crazy are they? Drivers are crazy, the records were crazy too. And lightweights are good for the mountain pass. Lightweight FR S30 and S2000 were so fast. I can say lightweights are great for the pass. To tell the truth, actually the day before, we had cool different machines running at the pass. Top 2000 horsepower machines and others were running at the pass the day before. So we are going to release it soon. We will release the next episode with Manapi again. See you again!